Hey guys, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while. I think even before last year, I may have done some stuff like this a few times, but I was trying to, I seen this at the store yesterday, um, this volcano chicken noodle. I don't know if this is considered ramen or ramen, whatever you guys would call it, but this is like the pack that it came in, but I just figured it'd be worth a try, and I'm gonna make this up, and I'll show you guys when I start getting it together, so I'll be back in a moment, and I'll start trying it out when it's ready, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so it's been a while since I actually pan for well boiled uh ramen noodles in a pot or whatever but this one was kind of too big for my plastic bowl to microwave for four minutes in the microwave but so i'm just gonna let this boil and then let it do it for about three minutes and then i think i might have to drain the water but then leave just a little bit to pan fry it with the sauce packet with this one i think is what it said so and this is going to be actually my second time doing this because I did try a Korean spicy ramen back like when I was in high school to try it out. And I got to say that stuff was really hot. But I'll be I'm just going to wait for this to start boiling and then I can drain most of this water. And hopefully this will be good. Okay. So now the noodles aren't all hard, and I'm just going to give this like maybe another 30 seconds or a minute, and then this will, I can drain this off. So I'm going to start seeing how soft or hard the noodles are, man. And I'll just make sure to leave a little water and then cook the sauce with it, because that's what it said on the packet. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, and I don't know if you can see that, how much water is in there, because it's just a little bit. But now, I'm going to put this packet in there, and then cook it for about 30 seconds or a minute or so. And then, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so here we go. And I'm not going to really turn this up too high. Maybe about there for a few minutes. And now, and that's the sauce, by the way, in that. <laughs> I can tell it's going to be pretty, a little hot. Okay, um, and for some reason, like they say, to pan fry it a little bit with just a little bit of the water that you don't all drain out, is so that way it's like supposed to sort of latch on to the noodles or something. Um, but I don't really know how true that is, but hey, it is what it is. So, It'll probably still be good, but like I said, I don't know how, if I'll be able to hand the spiciness to it or, because it does look good, but I'm just saying, it's worth a try anyway, but I'll be done in a couple minutes, so I'll see you guys in a second. Not imagining this, folks. I know I said it for too long, and I didn't do it quite as much. At the time, man, it wasn't really exactly the same spicy Raymond noodle challenge that everyone else would be doing. Yes, I have a cup of milk right there in case if I really do need it because I don't know how spicy this is going to get. And already looking at it, I can tell. But here's how it turned out. It didn't look too bad, but I think this will be pretty good nonetheless. So, let's get into it. Ooh. Doesn't smell too bad. So, all right, here we go. And before anyone asks, no, I didn't put those flakes on with that other packet. I just did the sauce. That's all I'm doing, so don't even ask why. Ooh, that's good. That is really good. But 
Jeez. It's still hot. Damn hicc hiccups. Ooh. guys I'm all right it's just sometimes some stuff does give me the hiccups but I'll be okay but yeah this isn't too bad it's just it's still hot but it's pretty good oh and if you guys um could do me a favor I'd really appreciate it if you guys know any noodles like this Raymond ones where it has like a sauce packet and they're not really like the chicken broth with like the regular Raymond's where this kind where it has an actual sauce packet. Let me know which one, if you guys know any good ones. Like, um, like less spicy, but where it'd still be really good, but just not really all that spicy. Because for me, my most limit would be, at most, just buffalo sauce for personal preference. I'd really appreciate it if you guys knew me like that. <clears throat> but this ain't too bad. Oh, I'm definitely going to need to be eating some ice cream and another glass of milk after this one, though. Whew. I seen another Raymond challenge where this guy had like a sauce packet where it was pretty hot sauce and then like this cheese sauce, not like broth, but it was like a garlicky cheese parmesan flavor with it. But yeah, like I said, this ain't too bad, but I don't know if I could eat this all the time or every day or nothing, no, but, like, for right now, it ain't too bad, like, I'm all good, yeah, it ain't too bad. And, like, normally, I would have, um, just put the sauce with the noodles right after, I and, mean, like, I probably wouldn't have even pan fried it, but... <clears throat> That was something I seen on the packet where it said that you're kind of supposed to. So that way it really kind of latches on to the noodles, I think is why. But if you guys want to try this out, I'll make sure to show you the packet and everything. Like if you did want to try it or anything. Huh. If you excuse me for a second, I gotta blow my nose. Considering it's a challenge, I'm just trying this out to let you guys know what I think and just so I have a video like this on my channel that actually was an actual spicy Raymond and not homemade like I had to do. And I know why my uncle was right that those Korean Raymond noodles can be 
actually hot. You know, it might have been a good idea if I um, thought of an idea where um, if you could make meat with this kind of sauce, whatever the sauce is that they make in these Raymond packets with these spicy ones. Because the flavor is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But like I said, just that heat from it. Woo! And even if you are someone who likes really hot stuff, it's still not recommended to eat really insane hot stuff every day. And as you guys see, I made sure it was milk in that water. But I'm getting through. So this is a decent lunch for snack lunch. Tell him I need another glass of milk after this. <clears throat> Whew. I don't get why a lot of Koreans like really spicy food. Although, one thing I'm going to say, I don't think I could win a challenge with other people in this. No, I, I highly doubt that. But still, I can't complain. Because I actually like it. I just wish it was a little more mild, like more buffalo or Tabasco sauce. That's what I kind of would prefer. I'm almost done, but I gotta blow my nose again. much left. And I'm sorry I couldn't make my nacho video that I've been wanting to make, like I said yesterday, but the meat and the hamburger isn't still quite thawed out. And I didn't really want to make it, like, today, but I think, like, by tomorrow or Wednesday, I'll be able to probably do it. sort of to it helps me get used to it a little bit anyway okay come on and there you have it <clears throat> all done said too again this was the 
That's the pack that it came in. And I found it just at Kroger's. Come on. I don't know how often like they have it there or none, but I just seen it and I just thought I'd give it a try. But I definitely need to get another glass of milk because that stuff was hot. And I might make a few gaming videos like later today and tomorrow, but I, this should maybe tomorrow, but definitely Wednesday. I'll be able to make my nacho video for you guys. So I'll see you maybe tomorrow, but definitely Wednesday. Whew, there's the milk.